Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be using some hunting horn against the event quest, the Torrid Trio. As well as see what it gives and what we have to fight. And here is the event quest. Looking like a full fire lobby which should be pretty fine. Alrighty, we are back and making our way over to Pyrarachna here. Should be pretty fun. We're using our Hellfire horn today. I've been loving this horn. Definitely try it out if you've uh, not been able to make it yourself yet. It is fantastic and it's such a fun way to play hunting horn. Okay, that shouldn't have clipped us, but that's okay. It uh, does such a stupid amount of damage and the guaranteed knockdown definitely makes up for not having slugger or anything like that. It's very, very nice to use. I don't know why I went for a, uh, a green note there. We definitely don't need wind pressure too badly. Hopefully we she gets angry here soon. Bait another butt slam. The only part about this set that kind of sucks is obviously the uh, double health drain. But it works itself out once you get a part break essentially. Okay, swap to our dereliction or our raw scroll that is. To get some big damage going. We're actually in the worst possible spot for her to do this. Yep, that... Oh my god, and it stunned us. We are dead to the floor and the, the fire on the floor. Maybe. Oh my god. Okay. So, so sketchy. We definitely should have died there. I don't know why we got stunned either. We didn't really get hit too much. But that's okay. That was so close. Alright, let's get our mag trio ready. So we can get that big damage in. When we get the opportunity, of course. Oh my god, lass. She uh, chose a terrible spot to start here, pretty much. Let's get a mag trio right now. Big damage. Love it. Love it. Her head is just out of reach. It's so close. Damn. That is so unfortunate. Let's throw a uh, cocoon down because she's going to web herself up here and we get a little bit of chance, a little bit of time, that is, to set one up. Okay. Oh, God. Jump over it. Okay, that is not ideal. As I said, this is a terrible, terrible spot to fight. Hopefully that doesn't break. Ah, oh, damn it. We really needed that mount to get out of here. Might actually just force her to get out of here myself in a second. Because this is a horrid, horrid spot to fight. There you go, lass. Get that truck up here. It's kind of rude, but I don't care. <laughs> She's a spider. Spiders are bloody scary over here. Got red bags, fucking widows, orb weavers. So sketchy. Okay, let's throw down another orb. Maybe she'll hit us, maybe not. Okay, we're good. We will take that. Also take that on the chin. Didn't pop the egg, thankfully. And she's not anomaly, so uh, we don't have to deal with the anomaly pop there for not doing enough damage, because we definitely would be behind at the moment. As we have had a terrible... Terrible start. Are we far enough? Okay. We were just... Let's get a blue note. Dodge. Because she's going to start with something silly, of course. I was hoping she would drag us, but she did not. That's okay, though. Get another mag trio as well. Under her into an infernal. There is a cage here, so we're just going to swing at that instead. Definitely wanted that infernal, but that's okay. She's already blue after, what? About four minutes? Not too bad. That, that start was so atrocious. Okay, here we are. Let's try to get this mag trio. She's going to run away. Yep. Okay, that is actually ideal. We can probably kill her right here, actually. If she doesn't do a butt slam or that. Yep, she did one of the options that uh, would stop us from killing her there. But that's okay. This should do it. Maybe. Don't slam. <laughs> Don't slam me. Alrighty, here is the king of the sky himself, Mr. Rathalos. Let's get a basic start here. We didn't swap to our red scroll this time because we want to do some big damage off the bat with our triple curio for that big, big raw buff. We'll just activate uh, Hellfire Blight the intended way, I guess. The way that is quite a bit less optimal because uh, obviously you're not attacking the monster and that is already suboptimal gameplay. But that's okay. We can definitely get it done. Just try and get him to the enrage point like that. And we'll pop it right under him. Just like that. And straight down onto the floor he goes. Oh no, Rock, why? Come on, man. I swear he's looking out for that sometimes. But that's alright. We'll get a cocoon down for big damage while he's paralyzed. 
just to be safe because it is never really worth putting down, honestly. Maybe get a slugger. Nope, we didn't get the attack off. Oh my god, we should have been dead. Yep, that is so unfortunate. Please don't fireball me. Okay, that's fine. That was such an unfortunate set of events. I was kind of banking on that, uh... That cocoon there to slugger him. Or knock him on the floor with a stun. But he just absolutely put a stop to that. We'll get a chance to hit him here though, which is fantastic. Maybe get an infernal off if he doesn't act out of it. But he did. That's okay. Go under him. Easy stuff. Get our attack buff back. The bite. Yep. What are we doing, lad? Big fireballs. Yep. Double fireball. Nice, we got the knockdown with that. Maybe into a stun here, because we build... Yep, there's the build-up. Do some good raw combos here. We got our Silk Bion Shockwave active. Big damage. Getting that egg down. We don't care too much about using the mount here, because it's just a uh, Wrath. Shouldn't be too, too scary. So much freaking damage. I love this set so much. Does so much freaking damage. Okay, we've got a blue, let's try pop it on his feet. Like that. Oh my god, can I hit him, please? Okay, there we go, we got one. I think it was about to change to orange as well. That would have been atrocious on my end. And I hate that attack in small hallways. Stomp, yep. Okay, he should be getting pretty close. We've got to be a little bit careful. I'm using Blood Rite to heal up. Because we do have one level of blood right, which does pretty well if you're hitting pretty hard. And that is the second monster down just under 10 minutes. Not bad. Alrighty, off to our final victim here, Mr. Teostra. I haven't fought a regular Teostra in a hot minute, actually. Because uh, I've helped a lot of friends and whatnot catch up, basically, to Risen Teo. Because his set is basically in every single set that anybody makes, because it is fantastically efficient. I don't know why I'm saying fantastic so much either. I usually wouldn't. It's uh, kind of a weird word. Okay, let's get our raw combo off on the back end of his hands here. Some solid damage. This triple health drain is kicking my ass, that's for sure. Gotta get away. Alright, not bad. We do have a mag trio lined up already, so we don't need to worry about that. Bite into a charge. It's on the dog. Yep. Doesn't act out of that because he's not risen, but that's okay. We'll just get a solid hit in there. Get our Silk Mind active again. We didn't swap to uh, the orange scroll again, or the brown scroll as some people call it. Because uh, I wanted to keep my curios, and we take a hit here. Unfortunate. Wasn't a whole lot we could do there. That's okay. Hopefully he gets angry here soon. We do have a mag trio with the infernal lined up, of course. My god, he's... Being such a pain in the butt. Spamming all of his close attacks that don't do quite enough damage to be, like, dangerous. But they definitely are dangerous if you're not running stun resist. Stop! <laughs> My goodness, mate. I get Luna's not in the game, but come on. No need to take your anger out on me, mate. Alright, let's go under him. Pop it. Pop immediately. No, why didn't it pop? What? Two flaming breaths. Look, it's still there. How did he not pop this? For those that don't know, the Hellfire triggers whenever you or the monster hits it. So it definitely, definitely should have popped there. Try bait him into it. No? Okay. This is so unfortunate. I really should have just put the brown scroll on for this one. Because he's being such a pain in the butt. Let's go over here. Infernal this way. Yep, perfect. Get away, or in this case, towards him, because I wanted to be a bit safer there. Jump straight over it. What? What is happening to my Hellfire? Does Teo just not care about it, but every other monster in the game does? What is this? Alrighty, round two, and I swapped to the Brown Scroll, because this is ridiculous. I definitely, definitely should have gotten. A knockdown from having Hellfire Blight there. See, look at that! That that should have happened so, so long ago. My goodness. He was just having none of it. 
But that's alright. We'll sacrifice a tiny bit of our uh, raw attack there to get our stun. That should have happened a while ago. But that's okay. Get some decent damage on here and then we'll put an egg down. We'll do it right now actually. Because we got a stun. Gives us a little bit more time. Obviously with the egg, it's so hard to tell you when to actually use it. Because it is not that impactful. Obviously speedrunners use it because you can just spam them out and you optimize it so you can always have one. Never really take any damage from using it. But generally speaking, you don't even need it. Just taking him over to the water geyser here just to give him some water blight. Should do some decent damage, which it did. Get our attack buff on the way down. Yeah, on the note of the cocoon, it is so hard to tell you when to actually use it. Because a lot of the time you'll take damage for it and if you're not running a stun resist set it's really not needed that and you'll probably get hit and stunned into it and just die for trying to put one down and then trying to land the damage that it actually does is hard I hate that that uh, sweep so much just this very basic sweep that knocks you away pretty much his get off me attack is my most hated attack from him there we go we got a break from the cocoon though is good when it lands obviously but a lot of the time it isn't even worth putting down unless you can guarantee to not get punished for using it oh and the stun okay we'll chuck another one down why not so yeah for a good example stun there's a hundred percent chance we're not gonna get hit so I'll chuck one down 15 minutes basically not too bad not too bad at all okay so nothing extraordinary off the bat we got a mantle from plundering that's fantastic let's see what we actually got we got take a breather and cower as gestures let's have a look at them alrighty let's see here take a breather yeah I imagine it was just like taking a breath bending down okay that's it what about cower yeah it's a nice cower your pets cower in the background as well well everybody that was the event quest the torrid trio with the hellfire hunting horn such a fun little event decent idea some good gestures in there if you like them but as always thank you for watching and i hope to see you on the next one